Gold Squad TV. All right, man. So this is going to be the last video I post in regards to the whole Joe Button podcast um, drama. I, it's funny, man, because I had a conversation with one of my homies earlier today. And um, it's crazy how people turn on people the minute somebody. So it's like a week ago, people were on Joe Budden's side and by his side faithfully about how this is not how you do business. Their names are not on the podcast, yada, yada. These two imbeciles, bozo cats that are on the podcast or mags, they supposedly think Joe's stealing money. They go, after the worry gets fired, they go maybe a day and a half, two days later on their own shit and say they're fucking whatever they say because they're not yelling. They look more convincing. And then Joe goes on an IG with sunglasses on because it's obviously sunny, sunny as fuck outside. People wanted to sit there and think that this man is covering for some type of um, lie or per se. I'm going to keep it to you like this. What this is exposing is that all you people that were Joe Budden fans aren't really fans. You guys are dig riders. You guys rather ride with the losers than understand and learn from proper business etiquette. Academic said some, I'm not the biggest act fan, but act said some things in the video that were correct about any business is not going to show you their books. And these two should have knew. They went into the situation trying to be friends doing business, which never works. Friends versus BI never works. What bugs me out is how does Joe become the villain? Because these cats go on, they go and speak their truth, which is not really the truth at all. Because we already know they were going to say something. You guys had to know they were going to say things that were going to be combative to anything Joe said. So since they sound more elegant, eloquent, they sound a little more calm, they sound more relaxed, and they sound more like you feel sorry for them. You feel sorry for the bums. Now you guys want to side with Ma and Rory and say Joe's a horrible businessman and is a horrible human. As if like morals and shit have anything to do with business. Now, some of y'all might attack my character, but I'm only speaking the honest truth. There ain't no morals in business. See, I'm smart enough to understand if I ever did business, I would never involve my friends in my business. I don't really have much friends anyway, and that's by choice. So some of you idiots that want to sit there and say, um, I'm probably friendless at the end of the day. I don't really give a shit. Friends don't really mean shit to me anyway. You know, like It's only a few of them. Like my man, Akeem, that's my man's. Salute. He he know what it is. He know what it is. That's my dude. I salute. He's always been supportive. And then my man Vic. He's been my friend since high school. But other than that, other than that, I have friends here and there, but I treat them on a high and by basis. I don't involve them in business, nor do I involve my best friends in business at all. I, I do my own thing. I learned a long time ago. It wasn't even that long ago. I try to in the beginning of me trying to start this channel, the original idea was for me and my cousin, my cousin E, to brand our, put our brands together. He's a salute to my cousin E, too. Salute. There's just no knock on him. But um, we were supposed to put our brands together. But the more and more I started kind of just feeling like I don't want to have any issues with my cousin. He's always been somebody I have a high respect for. And I see that he has his own vision. So i much rather let him do his own thing. And I salute him. And I'm, I'm happy for what he's doing with his fantasy league. And I love what he's doing and, and salute. I decided to do me because I felt like it wouldn't be a good idea. I never felt comfortable. Even when I, I ran ideas through friends, I never really truly felt comfortable with running 
a business or doing anything business wise with any type of strength with people that I know. You know, because you don't you can't really trust anybody. That's why I salute academics. I'm not a fan of act too much, but at the end of the day you gotta salute that man's independent. He's independent for the most part. Yeah, complex paid him to be on the show with Joe, but let's be honest, outside of that he's he did pretty much everything on his own when it came to his own brand. He doesn't have to rely on anything. He could be as non PC as he want on his channel. On his YouTube channels and streams and he ain't gotta worry about none of this BS that people have to worry about. He just gotta do what he do and stay on his business. He understands there's no morals in his shit. And when people's feeling people's feelings are gonna get hurt. You guys must not really pay attention to hip hop. There was a group called EPMD, which I grew up listening to. And we all know what happened when Eric Sherman tried to send the goons after Parrish and they had to break up for a good five years. Now they were able to squash it. But as far as I'm concerned, call Parrish whatever you want to call him. Parrish knew what was going on. He's smart, he knew business not his fault eric sherman didn't know business like that not fuck with eric sherman but it's not to be honest those guys were more street guys that were parish was a street guy with business sense his family comes from a business background family he knows what it is there's no if they says business never personal business is business you know out of business like these titles on these albums are not for any different reason for the fact that you know, you can't get, you can't let business get personal. Now, should a Joe, you know, people want to get mad at Joe for going on his podcast and firing Rory. But you know what? Joe had a right to do that. Rory, he felt what he felt about Rory. He felt what he felt about Maul. He spoke his mind. And that should have been what it was. And they were going to come out and speak their mind. That's fine. But if they think that Joe, they're not even being clear on what they think Joe he's doing they're just mad because they feel like they're losing a friend because of money which they say is not about money but they say it's about principle but there's money involved what are we talking about we don't do business on principle and we don't do handshake agreements in business so it's like what are you talking about it's not about the money you gotta understand man there's no there's no there's no um ways to look at this shit Everybody gets screwed in business. Even independent people get screwed in business. Sometimes you get the short end of the stick, and that's just kind of how it goes. I respect somebody that knows how to handle that versus sitting there and faking the funk and trying to act like they too cool to deal with business. So they go and they make response videos against the guy that's really running the podcast and start talking about who we had to send to get jumped, um, the jump consequence. And stuff like that. That's of like that's some type of strike to have. Man, you ain't you ain't get no points for beating up a dude that's like four nine. You sent a goon to beat him up, all because he slapped Joe in the back of the head. You should have let Joe and consequence shut you know shoot that fair one. Instead, you just bragging all around the place talking about how your friendship was so tight that you sent the goon out there to handle consequence. Like that's so honorable, Maul. You see, what I learned, what I learned in the situation is that Joe's mistake is he's too emotional. He's too emotional. He tries too many things. He evolves his emotion. And then says he's not emotional. His business. To me, if he would have just separated that shit and cut Maul off and cut Rory off the minute they started acting a little funny two, three years ago, I wouldn't have blamed him. It probably would have happened with somebody else, but at least you don't have any ties to those people. It's business. You know, the only reason people are over here back in Rory Mall is, like I said, it's the way they came off in that little mini podcast that they had when they were talking about the problems with the podcast. But now everybody went from talking shit about Mall and Rory and not missing them to now talking about, like, oh, I'll pay the $2 to watch your stupid ass podcast. No, the fuck I won't. I won't. That shit is trash. You want you want me to hear this snobby ass motherfucking mall talk about how much he loves Rockefeller all the fucking time and 
I'm still always talking about the same shit. Talking about I'll never date a girl with East beef jerky and shit. Learns this crab shit like that and paints his nails. Nah, I'm all set. I'm all set. You want me to sit there and listen to Rory disrespect KRS One because he didn't grow up in KRS One's era, so he wants to sit there and say that BD Siegel and Jada Kiss and them guys got out rap KRS One when they've openly have all said they don't want no smoker Chris. Saying it, it's crazy to me how these dudes that just go on their platform don't own shit and want to disrespect the guy that actually tried to give them a platform. If it wasn't for Joe, would we even know Mom Rory? All this bullshit where they're talking about Mom Rory made the show better. No, the fuck they don't. And a week ago, none of you motherfuckers were saying that. They didn't make that show better, they made it worse. It was quite evident when I, when Ice and Ish took over, it was a lot more fluid. Easy going. Everybody knows that. Shouts to Parks, too. Truth of the matter is, man, at the end of the day, you guys can get mad at Joe all you want. Now, all the other shit with Joe and, and Olivia Dope and all that, I ain't even stepping in it. That's a different poor. I'm not even stepping in that. But all these guys, all these people making videos to shitting on Joe because you guys just have an opinion and think that Joe is wrong and guys think that Joe stole me. What business opens your books to employees, man? Let me let me just say that. Academics said it, and I'm gonna say it again. Hey, I wouldn't I wouldn't open my books either. Don't do business with me. It's that simple. See, I wouldn't involve people like that to be with me anyway. Like I said I would involve people that I don't know, that I could build with, and if I feel like they're gonna be a problem, I let them go before it even sparks. Remember, I'm my name is on the podcast, or my name's on. the on the bill, this is my channel. I'm gonna rep my shit. It's not like Joe didn't go and tell these dudes they couldn't have opportunities. He told them, I'll give you my footage like this. He told Rory, I'll give you my footage and you can start your own YouTube channel. Same thing he told them all. Those guys ain't do shit. I mean, you want to reward? This is, I guess, the point of my video is this is what I mean. You guys like losers. You rather root for a loser because you relate to losing. And I hate to say that. I'm nobody. I'm nobody bigger than anyone. But sometimes, man, I be looking at... It's funny how we always want to shit on the people that are winning. Because you don't relate to them until they get rich and then you, they shit on you. You know what I mean? Like, Ma don't give a... Like, let's make this clear. Ma and Rory don't care about none of y'all. They want y'all to listen because they they rather have you ride off of somebody else's coattails the way they did and then shut the shit down because of whatever reasons they want down and beg for money handouts and shit and joe was going to all these beatings joe was doing all that who wants to shit on joe now it's spotify it's it's become convenient joe could take it joe's joe's a strong dude he don't need me to defend him but let me just be clear, man. All this nonsense is bullshit. You know what I mean? Some of you guys fall in love with losers, man. These guys are pure fucking losers. Don't worry them all. You want to fall in love with these two loser-ass motherfuckers that y'all can relate to? You relate to telling a girl you ain't going to date them because they don't want to eat beef jerky? They eat beef jerky? You relate to a guy that listens to emotional oranges all the damn time? I don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. They're not the only loser ass motherfuckers y'all be looking out to. But it's just like, it just makes no sense to me. These guys don't have no worth. They're going to get their worth off of Joe Button podcast. You know why? Because they're going to get their little fucking, they're going to try to get their money in court. Or Joe's going to try to come to a settlement. And then they're going to make their podcast and they're going to fucking get all their fucking fame off of the bullshit. Which is whack. You made your fame off another man, the man that actually gave you an opportunity. You want to sit there and get mad over a four hundred thousand dollars or whatever. Okay, that's it. That he didn't use at all. You just max a dude wearing different hats and shit. That's a, that's the reason you don't know the nigga no more. My nah, man. I'm I'm all set. I'm all set, man. I don't Joe Joe should have fired those bozos a long time ago. And anybody that likes to or supports that loser shit don't need to be fucking with me. That's loser shit. I mean, you lived off a man's name for the longest, came in there, you weren't even day ones. 
by any stretch of the imagination that we got to feel sorry for you now because you got kicked off the podcast and you come off look not looking all angry and, and bitter and all that and you want to explain your financial problems and not everybody has to feel sorry for you man please a, a smart a smart dude will know for a fact that this is just a ploy it's just a ploy to me they turned the tables on Joe Budden fans, and now Joe Budden fans are being loyal to them. And this is all they need is momentum. Now it works in their favor, and if it comes to a court case, they don't even deserve to be in. You don't know the paperwork, and that's not for you or anybody to know. And everybody wants to be, you know, want to be couch lawyers. Just don't work that way. So I'm going to leave this at that. I'm not doing the comment section for this one. Y'all can eat one. <laughs> I don't care. Um... This is my video. It's my channel. I'm not going to deal with slander, bro. I'm just not doing that. I'm just going to speak my mind about this subject. This is it. Um, there will be no more Joe Budden conversation unless something happens to Joe. God forbid. Go Squad TV.